Well, Ed, your new column for the Financial Times is entitled, China is right about U.S. containment. And you write, quote, this week, Xi Jinping went further than before in naming America as the force behind the containment, encirclement, and suppression of China. Though his rhetoric was provocative, it was not technically wrong. President Joe Biden is still officially committed to trying to cooperate with China. But Biden was as easily blown off course last month as a weather balloon. Today's approach is containment plus. When she talks about su suppression, he means America's ban on advanced semiconductor exports to China. Since high-end chips are used for both civil and military purposes, the U.S. has grounds for denying China the means to upgrade its military. But the collateral effect to, is to limit China's economic development. You continue. There is no end game to today's Cold War. Unlike the USSR, which was an empire in disguise, China inhabits historic boundaries and is never likely to dissolve. The U.S. needs a strategy to cope with a China that will always be there. Well, and, and on uh, last week on Thursday, when I was talking to Admiral Stravitas, talked about the parallels in China's language and what we heard from Japan leading up to World War II, that the United States was contain, trying to contain them and keep them sort of ch uh, 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 lined off uh, in the, the Eastern Pacific. Uh, or in the Western Pacific, and now you have China complaining. Uh, again, you brought up computer chips, but you could talk about the Philippines, Guam, uh, nuclear subs in Australia. There is no doubt the United States is getting, becoming uh, more assertive in trying to contain China. There is, and the, and the 30s parallel is an interesting, if very, very chilling one, because, of course, you know, people talk about chips as, as today's oil, and it was the... Um, Roosevelt administration's cutting off of oil to Japan that the Japanese saw as their, as their cause for war. Um, yeah, the Americans uh, have been playing a very effective game. Uh, the, the Biden administration, and we're going to see today with the AUKUS deal in San Diego, you've got the British Prime Minister, Australian Prime Minister joining Joe Biden there at the naval base to um, to launch, officially launch this nuclear submarine. We've got Japan agreeing, really changing its character, agreeing to, um, to announcing it's going to double its defense spending. Um, we've got the Philippines reopening um, naval bases for the United States to use, and of course, India uh, closely working mili militarily closely with the Quad countries of America, Japan and Australia. So wherever Xi Jinping looks, um, what mm. he sees is containment and what he sees is encirclement. And he's not necessarily wrong. Now, the fact that he is bringing this, th he is provoking this, uh, this reaction from China's neighbors um, should not, uh, I, I don't think, blind us to the fact that this is a very dangerous situation. And dangerous situations require talking. Um, the United mm -hmm. States is still by far the more powerful of these two countries, um, has hundreds of military bases all over the world. China's got one um, in Djibouti with 2,000 Chinese uh, pers military personnel there. Um, the last time China <clears throat> invaded a country was in, in 1979 in Vietnam, um, and it got a bloody nose. It withdrew. Um, so we need to keep things in perspective here. And my concern is <clears throat> not so much with the Biden administration, um, but with the rhetoric in this town is coming, becoming very warlike. It's bipartisan. There is no peace faction in Washington, as you used to have with the business lobby. Um, and uh, the, the expectation of war can sometimes create its own reality. Well, this is not a situation where America should be feeling weak. And when you feel strong, when you feel a sense of resolve, then you, then you feel able to talk, which is what I would like to see happening. Right. And I think that's true of the rest of the world, too.